Marty Bergstead with AICH here, here with Darren Johnson of IPEX, who is going to talk about their uh, safety control uh, piping system. Darren, tell us about what IPEX does here. Thank you. Um, IPEX is a manufacturer of thermoplastic piping systems. We all also manufacture double containment piping systems, um, and we've been doing double containment manufacturing for just about 30 years. Um, so I just want to briefly go over double containment piping systems. It's important to know why and where they're used in order to understand them. So in December of 1988, there was a law that changed in the United States with respect to underground storage tanks and underground piping. So the US EPA, Environmental Protection Agency, wrote a code that said all petroleum products, all hazardous substances, of which they list over 3,200, and certain hazardous wastes have to be double contained if they're being conveyed underground. So what that means is for any buried tanks with buried piping connected to those tanks that are conveying the hazardous, hazardous substances listed by the EPA, they have to be double contained. Now there are certain situations that you run into with above ground tanks as well. So with respect to above ground tanks, when the buried piping connected to those above ground tanks consists of 10% or more of the volume of the above ground tank, it must also be double contained. So just a brief nomenclature of double containment piping systems. You have your primary pipe or your inner pipe contained inside your secondary or containment pipe. You have a spacer or centralizer to support your carrier pipe in your containment pipe. And then you have your interstitial space, which is the space that will host a leak in the event of a failure. Uh, when it comes to material combinations, they're literally endless. Any commercially available piping material can be double contained, whether that be plastic and plastic, metal and metal, metal and plastic, FRP and plastic. The combinations, again, are endless. Uh, different applications that utilize double containment, to name a few, oil and gas, um, hydraulic fracturing, wa wastewater, uh, which is definitely a hot topic when it comes to environmental concerns, uh, food and beverage, pharmaceutical, and many more applications. Any questions? So what's special about what IPEX does? What, uh, you're talking about a pipe in a pipe. What's special about what you guys bring to the party? We're the only manufacturer in the world that I'm aware of that offers full double containment thermoplastic, metal, and dissimilar material combination systems. And we're talking um, design, engineered, supported, fully restrained double containment components that arrive at the job site as you see them in the poster. Okay. And uh, the fabrication in the field then, it's, it's two pieces of pipe, so is it twice as hard? Not necessarily. Um, because we fabricate the components and we control the fabrication of the components, we'll actually have qualified representatives come to a job site and train installers on how to install double containment piping. Whether it be plastic and plastic, metal and metal, uh, there are certain situations when it comes to double containment that are unique compared to installing single wall systems. And we train installers on uh, the different techniques that can be utilized to um, join these systems in the field. One last question. If you've got 100 miles of this pipe and there's a leak somewhere, I see you've got sensors in various spots in the pipe. How does the person know 100 miles away that he's got a leak in his pipe? There are two different types of leak detection when it comes to electronic leak detection. One is low point leak detection. So this would be installed along a pipeline and split up into different zones. So you'd have a leak detection station installed at the end of the zone. Um, and the frequency of leak detection stations de depends on how precise you want your leak detection to be. So you could have this station every five feet, every two feet, every 10 feet. So if there is a leak, it throws a code back to a control panel, say there's a leak in this zone at this time on this date. Or you can go with cable. Cable is, a, cable is more precise, so it would actually tell you within five feet where a leak is in a piping system. Oh, you would run the cable along the You would the run the cable 
go along the whole length of the pipe in the interstitial space between the primary and the secondary. And those sensors then can communicate back to headquarters with uh, cellular data? Back to a control room panel, PLC, a SCADA system. All right. Uh, anything else you want our, our, our viewers to know? I would say educate yourselves with respect to double containment piping systems um, and embrace the uh, glo global Congress on Process Safety. <laughs> I had to get that right. Thank you very much, dear. Thank you. Okay. Good stuff.